commissioner, remember? And then, of course, Kevin Warren was named Big Ten commissioner. There's a couple of great stories about him that were out in the last couple of days about things that he went through when he first took over. Now, here is Kevin Warren. Now, you heard what Jim Phillips' quote, or read it. I don't think you can close the door on future expansion. From a strategy standpoint, this is not the old college athletics. For the individuals and conferences that are not thinking that way, they're going to be Sears and Roebuck. For those of you not old enough, they're the ones that filed bankruptcy uh, in 2018, and they were like the ones who ran uh, the malls and other stores and things where you went and bought stuff. That's straight blunt. That's where this deal is going. We have about three or four more years of perpetual disruption. During that period, either you're going to embrace change and build a business and get stronger or not. The complete opposite, I would think, take of the ACC commissioner and Jim Phillips. Uh, yeah, I think we just read them back to back, and they are complete opposites about as far as what their messaging is. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty blunt there. Uh, what Kevin Warren is saying, either jump on board or get bowled over, basically. So... Uh, you know, three to four years of disruption, that was a part that stood out to me because I don't know exactly what that means. Um, you know, I, I guess it refers to just all of the changes that could continuously be or could continue, um, you know, happening. Uh, you know, there's the Dennis Dodd report out there today, which, you know, is funny because it's basically the report from like a month ago that we were talking about. And there was a bunch of people like, oh, it's a silly, stupid expansion. Like, what's this realignment? There's, the, there's nothing to it blown out of portion a month later. It's like, oh, now the same thing makes sense all of a sudden. It's just kind of weird how we're circling back here. Um, so I guess that's referring to maybe more of that type of a stuff of, you know, Pac-12 schools leaving for the Big Ten or whatever other options are out there to, to potentially happen. The Big 12, you know, plucking some teams away or any, any number of other things. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the line in the sand has been drawn and it's pretty clear that the line in the sand has been drawn and, uh, there's the Big Ten and the SEC on one side, and there's the remainder of college football on the other. And uh, I don't know how chummy those two are on that side. I think that, you know, they're going to be chummy until they both get kind of settled in where they want, and then it'll be a blood war, uh, basically, between those two uh, for supremacy. You know, in my mind, I think we're kind of going that direction where it could be respectable, but, you know, certainly Kevin Warren wants the Big Ten to be the bee's knees and Greg Sankey wants the SEC to be the same way. And so I think they're going to work together as much as they can to ultimately land in their, you know, respective spots as the one, a one B and then kind of how that trickles down to everybody else, you know, remains to be seen. I'm sure they'll have some battles over that along the way, but yeah, Jim Phillips is out of touch. Uh, if he thinks that this is just going to remain the way that it has been all these years. And I think he's probably got to know that, which is what makes his comments kind of strange about them just, sort of, you know, focusing on the academic side or uh, just, I don't know. And I understand he's got limited options with their contracts. So I don't know how much he could have really have said or how much it would benefit him to add to the calamity when his whole, you know, deal right now for the ACC is the fact that they probably got some teams that would love to jump ship if they could. So what can you really say in his position? Because you're locked up for 10 plus years. But yeah, it's, it's interesting to see the, the difference in those comments and um, you know, Kevin Warren, I felt like I didn't know how to explain this, but after thinking it over, Kevin Warren said a lot without really saying anything detail wise, like he brought up every topic under the sun, but he never specifically said really anything about any of those topics. Like we're open for expansion, but to what degree? Well, it's got to make sense. Okay. Well, that tells us nothing except for that you're open for expansion. He mentioned academics, but didn't get like deep into what the academic side of this would all mean or or be. He just kind of touched on every he, – he, like, I'm for the playoff. Uh, I'm for the whatever expanded playoff. But he didn't give any detail on how we're actually going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he touched on everything, so it's kind of a lightning bolt, but never really, like, dove in on, so this is the direction we're going or this is what it's going to look like. Or So I think he, he kind of chummed the waters, but – you know, really didn't reveal anything. And that leaves us all to sit here and just continue speculating while he's crafting, you know, big plans behind the scenes. And um, right now, yeah, it's a Big Ten SEC world and everybody else is just trying to find their spot on the bus. It was very much a political speech. Yes. We need infrastructure and clean water and uh, lower taxes and all this stuff. How? Don't worry about that now. I've got, I've got making a speech. Like, that, that's kind of how that, that goes in the political world. You know what it looked like to me? or sound, It sounded like he's throwing it down. Yeah, yeah. He's, or he he's, was. Or, but and, yeah. He's, and his three to four years of Without disruption, details. at the very minimum, three to four years of disruption is 
three or four brand new television deals across the board. That's going to disrupt things, you know, at least somewhat. Or, he said a ton without really saying anything. That's yeah. my point. He said basically everything you'd expect him to say, but he didn't say any TV network. He didn't get specific. That's what I'm saying. There were no details. It was just like, yes, this is changing. This is the direction we're going and get with it or get out of the way. And I mean, he, he let the message be clear. Um, and, and the message was very clear, but you know, I don't think that we're any, like, we don't know. Okay. Does, do we know based on that conversation that the big 10 will or will not expand? No, no, we don't. Like, they're open to it, right? But do we know if they're going to or not? No. no. Do we know any of the schools that are involved if they were going to do that? No. Uh, although there's an unnamed person who told Dennis Dodd or whoever else of the same schools that we were talking about like a month ago that were involved in the whole Pac-12 stuff of Cal, Stanford, Oregon, Washington. We've been talking about them for weeks now. So you can just kind of deduce that that's, that's who we're, we're talking about. Uh, he talked about the future and get on and get off, but do we really know what that means? Like, what does that actually look like? Is that two conferences? Is that three? Is that four? Is that, we're probably not going to be five, obviously. So that's what I mean is he said a lot, and definitely like it was you know a forewarning uh, uh, almost, but you know what exactly is on the other side yeah. of that, we don't know. Well, I also wonder if Kevin Warren, if you've read some of the articles about him this week that uh, from Big 12, Big 10, excuse me, media days, he took an absolute beating. Uh, there were those even within his own conference, and it seemed like even the headquarters that were not real thrilled. Everyone thought Jim Phillips was going to be the commissioner. I'm not speaking for everybody, but reading, uh, I think it was three or four articles about him. This guy's been through a beating. I mean, like, it, it almost seemed like everything, but someone wanted to take him out. Uh, because And then, of course, there was the decision in 2020 to cancel the football season. And then they came back, and they played uh, at least some games. And, 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 and he, so I wonder if it wasn't him just saying, here's the fire hydrant right here in front of me, and he raised his leg to let everyone know he's in charge. Now, whether that's true or not remains to be seen, but he's in a power position, as is the SEC. And I still believe that the other power fives who don't get grouped into that have their story to tell. Here's something.